Hey, baby. What's up? Luke was at it again. Oh my god, I'm still shaking. What did he do again? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Tell me and I'll hurt him. I'm going to kill that guy! He had his minions come after me at school today. They ripped my journal apart and shoved me into a bathroom stall. And not just that, they spilled nasty smelling water all over me. And no one, not a single person came to help you? They all laughed at me and made snide remarks too. I'm hurt. How can people be so cruel to someone else? I'm so sorry, babe. You don't deserve this. Neither of us does. We don't deserve the hate we get for loving the people we do. I wish I were at school with you. I'm really sorry. It's not your fault that Luke is an absolute nightmare. He's been horrible to me since we started high school. The only thing that made it bearable was you. But you had to leave for college. And I can't hold you back or ask you to give up on your dreams or anything like that. I'm here for you, baby. Always. I'm never leaving you, no matter what Luke thinks or does. He's just an insecure jerk. Plus, he's mad that I turned him down so I could be with you instead. I know you aren't leaving me, but it gets really hard to deal with this. I can't wait to be with you instead. Me too, babe. I wish I had been there with you. Have you said anything to your mom about the bullying yet? Nope, not yet. You know she still has to adjust to me dating someone far away now. But she's taking it well. And thank goodness she's still friends with your mom. Yeah, same here. I thought she was going to be mad or something. My mom doesn't care. Her older sister got married to a guy way younger than her. But I still think you should talk to her about Luke. It's not like you're the only student at school. I don't know why he thinks he can pick on you. I guess I might have to talk to her about it. Except that she isn't home right now. And she won't be home for the next three days. She traveled out of state for a work conference or something like that. I can't think of how she might react. I'm not even sure if I should call her or just text her. I think it would be best if you text her. She might be busy, and if you call her right now, she may be too preoccupied to call. I guess you're right. I should text my mom. I think it's time she knows about all the bullying I have to go through, thanks to Luke. That's a good decision. I should have stayed back home. I mean, I could have skipped for a year until your graduation so we could attend college together. It's been years already and Luke has refused to change. He's an insufferable jerk. I would not have let you sacrifice school for me though. That would be so wrong. Plus, you have to go to school longer than me. And that's because I have to become a great surgeon, so I can make you and my mom proud. LOL. I think you make me proud already. If it hadn't been for you looking after me in school, Luke and his minions would have caused me more physical harm. I'm sorry, my love. I wish I could do more to stop him. The school management won't do anything because they're also homophobic. Don't be. I know the school is awful. I'll just have to deal with it. I have to go now so that I can text my mom. I'll text you later. I love you, babe. I love you too, babe. Be safe. Hey, mom. How are you? Oh, hey, honey. I'm okay. Work is a little bit stressful, but it isn't something that I can't handle. How are you? How was school? Are you home? And have you had dinner yet? Oh, yeah. I'm okay, I guess. I had dinner. About the school, I don't think it was okay. Not after what happened today. Whoa, honey, are you alright? Something happened, didn't it? What happened at school, Leo? Well, I'm not sure how to tell you this or where to start from. Oh, honey, tell me. Tell me everything. Okay, um, give me a minute to get myself together. So... Remember when I told you about Alex and me? I told you about Alex. Yes, honey. I don't think I'll ever be able to forget that. Well, before that, someone had found Alex and me in a pretty compromising situation. Don't worry, it's not what you think. But it was the same guy who had been hitting on Alex that found us. I can already guess where this is headed. What did he do? He told the whole school about Alex dating someone younger than her. 
Before then, I was already getting bullied, but it wasn't as bad as now. He kept bugging me, but Alex threatened to do something nasty to him. But now that Alex is at college, the bullying has resumed. He's not going to stop anytime soon, Mom. He did it again today. Oh my goodness! Why didn't you tell me any of this a long time ago? Because I was afraid of how you'd react to my present situation and the whole thing. You weren't happy about it, and I didn't want to worsen it. I guess I was hurt. But you should have told me if you were getting bullied because of who you chose to love. So who's the jerk bullying you? A classmate, Luke Benson. You'd know him. He's a well-known jerk. As I said, Luke used to bother me, but after he found out that Alex and I were together, it sort of got worse. He likes my girlfriend, and he thinks he deserves her or something like that. He had his minions attack me. They locked me in a bathroom stall after messing my clothes and books with dirty water. Then he is a jerk, and I will speak with his parents when I get home, honey. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry about everything you've had to go through. You're my baby, and I'll never let anything happen to you. Not under my watch. I'll speak with the school too. I don't want something like this to repeat itself. Thanks, Mom. I've been feeling horrible because of this, and I didn't want to burden you or Alex. And I'm sorry that you've had to deal with this whole situation alone. Luckily, you only have a month until graduation. You won't have to deal with jerks like this ever again. I know. I can't wait for that to happen. I'll be free of school and also be with Alex again. I got carried away and forgot to ask about the conference. How's it going? It's fine. A little bit stressful. It wasn't what I imagined, but it was also fun. I'll be back home before you know it. Just hold down the fort, honey. Hello, well. Sure thing, Mom. I should let you get back to work. I bet you still have a lot to do. I'll be watching your speech on TV. Alright, honey. I'll see you when I get back. I love you, Cupcake. I love you too, Mom. Goodbye. Hey, stupid. This is Luke, your worst nightmare. What the hell? I don't know why the heck you're screaming. Chill, old hag. It's not like you're worth my time. Then what do you want? Why are you texting me? How on earth did you get my contact in the first place? I got your number from the other idiot like you. What do you even mean? Sometimes I wonder if your brain functions properly. Leave me alone, please. And if I say no, what would you do then? Look, you can't do anything, okay? Sure, I can't do anything to you, but leave me alone, please. No, I won't. Did you send your mother to my house? Oh, is that why you got my number and texted me in the first place? If that's why, then I think you know the answer already. What do you mean by that? Your stupid actions forced my mother to visit your house. Besides, you brought this on yourself. I don't recall being a bully to people who have done nothing to me. I'm going to make you pay. You sent your mom to my house and got me in trouble with my parents. You made me look bad in front of them. Don't you think that's a good thing? I mean, they deserve to know how much of an awful person their son is. Isn't bullying people what you do in your free time? Trust me, and I'm gonna have fun making you pay. If you think I'll let you get away with this, then you're joking. Oh, please. Stop with the threats already. My mother got a restraining order placed on you. Plus, your parents signed a form before my lawyer, stating that if anything should happen to me, you'll be held responsible. Do you think that'll save you from me? No, but then who knows? You might want to spend time with Juvie. You're welcome to. I'm not stopping you. I hate you, and I think you're disgusting. You only see others as disgusting if you're vile. You're the appalling and nasty person between the both of us. Have a wonderful life, Luke, and watch your back. Karma is real. I'll block you now. Good riddance. I'm gonna have fun messing with you. I'm gonna make you pay for everything that you've done. I'm going to hurt you. You, you can try. Bye. Mama Bear, I just got off my plane. I'll be at the penthouse in half an hour. Do you need me to bring anything? I can make a pit stop. Hey, honey. When did you get here? You weren't supposed to arrive until an hour. 
Did something happen? And you don't need to get me anything. I already made dinner. I would have asked you to get that wine I love, but you built a cellar here. No, Mom, I'm okay, I promise. And I had to get the wine. I know how much you love it. Besides, if you're house-sitting for me, your favorite things must be stocked up. My meeting ended three hours ago, so I just got on my plane and headed home. It's a good thing that I have one. Imagine the stress I would go through if I had to book flights like this before constantly. I remember how stressed out you were back then. But you never gave up. Besides, I don't know how Alex can deal with you traveling for work all the time. Anyway, did you close the deal? I did. We own the startup now. But there's a company I want to acquire before anyone else. And for good reason, too. What company? Long Corporations. I'm planning on acquiring it. And I know it might not be a big company, but I'll make it big. Honey, does this have anything to do with who I think it does? Because I saw the files on your office desk at home, so... I don't have any idea what you're on about. Besides, why would you go looking through confidential files? They were right there, and I was looking through the lists of businesses that you've acquired. I saw the file for Long Corporation. Hey, Mom. I'm picking up a ring today. Okay, if you're trying to change the topic, I'll let you know it worked a lot, and very fast, too. Tell me everything! Well, I ordered a custom ring to be made for Alex. I want to ask her to marry me. I'll be picking it up today. Wait, Mom. I know you and Alex are gossip buddies, so you can't tell her. This is meant to be a surprise. I get to plan a wedding, after all. Finally! I'm so excited! Why didn't you tell me about this before now? As I said, you'd have ruined the surprise. No, I would not. Don't you even have a little faith in me? <laughs> no, Mom. Have you seen you and Alex? The one year we broke up, you didn't talk to me for three months, even though you knew it was Alex who wanted the breakup. Ugh, fine, you're right. Get the ring and come back home. I'm waiting to see what it looks like. All right, Mom. I have to go. Alex is texting me. All right, kiddo. Bye. Be safe. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Hey, baby. Did you leave early? When are you arriving? I noticed a change in your calendar. I'm just making sure you're okay. I am. I closed the deal pretty early. I got off the jet 15 minutes ago. Mom is making dinner, and I'm bringing your favorite cake. When will you be home? Ooh, thank you. I haven't indulged in the sweetness that is caked in a while. Thank you, baby. And I'll be home. Finished a successful surgery not too long ago. Did you get the information you needed on long corporations? I did. The private investigator was right. Luke is working at long corporation. He's their chief operating officer. And from what I heard, he's already doing a great job of running the company down. Oh, wow. I would say I can't believe that he's incompetent, but that would be a lie. What else did the private investigator say? There's a shocker that you won't believe at all. With Luke Benson, nothing is impossible, my love. You're right. But this will be the craziest thing you've ever heard, trust me. Alright. That's enough suspense. And this isn't even a movie. Our dear old bully Luke Benson is a thief. Hold on. A what? You can't be serious. He was so rude to us, and he told us everything about the entire school. I'll never forget the uncalled slurs in the hallways. I am serious, and I remember everything too, my love. Turns out he graduated four years ago. He lives with his partner, who's a vet and a sweetheart. They claim that he has changed, but I don't believe them. So you still want to acquire Long Corp? I do, babe. I'd like to teach him a lesson. He broke me years ago. I want him to know what it feels like. If you're sure, you know I'll always support you, no matter what. Thanks, babe. I require your support. I have a meeting with the owners of Long Corp. I'll be discussing it with them. I want to acquire the company as soon as possible. Before the end of the week, if likely. As long as this will give you the closure you need, my love, I'll be there. I'll never forget what he did to me on the final day of school. Luke ruined everything that day. I became this person after that car hit me. Remember how I thought I would never walk again? It was you and mom who told me not to give up. 
You stayed with me throughout. All of that happened because of Luke. He never once tried to fix what he had destroyed, and never contacted me all these years to ask for forgiveness. He hasn't changed one bit. I know, my love. I remember everything you went through. I remember the sleepless nights, the pain, the nightmares. Even now it still causes you pain. That's why I'm not stopping you from taking revenge. I have you, and I have nothing to worry about. I just hope they agree to my terms. They will. After all, you're my boyfriend. No one can turn you down. And also, you're an award-winning businessman. Thanks, my love. I'm almost home now. I'll see you in a few minutes. I love you. I love you too. Good morning, sir. I'm Luke Benson, the Chief Operating Officer at Long Corporations. I was informed that you're the company's new owner, and I wanted to make sure you had all the details you needed. Oh, I see. Good morning, Luke Benson. Yes, I do have all the files I need, but some important documents seem to be missing. And they were supposed to be connected to a big deal your company made weeks ago. Oh, um, the deal didn't pull through. Is it just me, or do I think you're a compulsive liar who derives pleasure from lying and hurting other people? Huh? Why would you assume that, sir? You barely even know me, and I was the one who texted you. From what I hear, you lie without stopping to think of the effects of your lie. Anyway, I want that document emailed to me within the hour, and if I don't receive it, I'll assume you want to lose your job. This seems to me like a threat, sir. No, it isn't. I stated facts. I don't enjoy threatening people. I just tell them what I can and cannot do. I hope you understand. I understand, sir. I'll look for the files and send them to you, sir. Good. I want it thoroughly edited, and not a single mistake. That alone could trigger me and get you fired. Are you even for real? The CEO never once spoke to me in a threatening manner. I'm sorry, but why do you think I'm threatening you? If I wanted you gone, I would have fired you with the other staff members too. But no buts here. I hate excuses. If you're willing to work, you'll work. Now, excuse me. I was having an important meeting before your stupid text interrupted me. Have a wonderful life. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, babe. Did you speak with Luke? I did. He doesn't recognize me, which is good. Why? I want to ruin him entirely before he knows what hit him. Do you know he has been carrying out fraudulent activities at work? He has been selling business plans and ideas for a long time, while lying to the previous owners about who was doing it. Oh my goodness. That's even worse than I thought. Honestly, I'm not surprised that he can do that. I'm more surprised that no one saw him for the fraudulent person he truly is. Well, he does deserve everything coming his way. Has the auditor sent in the reports? Yes, my love. This guy stole up to two million dollars. He embezzled more money and used that to buy a dream mansion, lol. What do you think? Should we buy a mansion after our wedding or purchase an estate? Oh, I know what you're doing. And I like it. I mean, it's not a bad idea to own a penthouse and a mansion, right? Right. One neat mansion is coming up. I have to go now. Me too. Got surgery to do. But I had to check up on you first. I love you. I love you more. Now go save a life. What the hell? What have you done to me? What did I ever do to you to make you hate me so much that you decided to ruin my life completely? <clears throat> Everything you're getting now, you deserve it. And we both know that. Who made you my judge? I did. I made myself your judge and karma. I saw that you were terrible and continuously did the wrong things, just like when you were a teenager. So I decided I would make you pay. Who are you to decide that for me? <laughs> I love this. The fact that you don't recall who I am. Luke Benson. You can't tell me you have forgotten how much of a nuisance you were in high school. Huh? What are you... talking about? What high school? Wow. 
I wish I could fake something like dissociative amnesia when convenient. You were a nasty person. And now that you're older, you've become a fraudulent person. I am only just starting. What more do you want to do again? My girlfriend already left me. She took our dog. I lost everything. I'm gonna lose my house as well. What more do you want? The house and the $3.4 million that you stole. I know everything, Luke. I made it my business to know everything. What did you do? I just got informed that my house is being auctioned off. Who the hell are you? What do you want from me? In the exact words you told me years ago, I'm your worst nightmare. Do you remember who I am now? Oh my goodness. Leon Carlson. Were you my boss? Yes. And you were willing to kiss my behind every morning. Do you know what I enjoyed more? Seeing you beg at my feet while the security men dragged you out of my office. You planned that accident on graduation day, and I broke both legs. I couldn't walk for a year. It was then that I decided I would make you pay. There's no need to break your legs. Breaking your soul will do. It's not like you changed much over the years either. Oh my goodness! You can't be this vile! I'm a person like you too! How can you do that to me? You've completely ruined me! Completely ruined you? Hmm, maybe. But did you steal from the company or not? And don't say you didn't. You did. I have enough evidence to throw you in jail for a long time. Leon, please. I was a stupid child, okay? I didn't know how to act. I was careless. Can you forgive me? It's been, what, eight years already? Please let this go. You don't have to send me to jail or do anything like take your revenge. That's not the type of person you are. That wasn't the type of person I was. But you helped me become this person. You paved the way for me. I owe you some recognition. You are to leave the mansion within two hours. That gives you enough time to think of which homeless shelter you might want to stay at, or try other options you might have. Please, Leon, please, I'm begging you. Everything that I have has been seized. I have nothing. My bank accounts have been closed up. I'm begging you. The same way I begged you to let me be. But you didn't. You sent your minions after me. Your properties, every single thing you own, now belongs to me. I became this person so that I could ruin you. I'm not going back out because you expect me to be calm and understanding. And don't bother contacting anyone, especially not my fiancé. She wanted this as much as I did. I'll do anything you want. Please, forgive me. I already did. It's why I was able to do all of this. If I hadn't forgiven you, I wouldn't have been able to ruin you completely. Do you have a remarkable life. Bye. Please forgive me. Please don't run me down. Please, I'm begging you. What can I do to fix this? I'm a changed man, I swear. Please. It's too late. You're suffering for your actions. Carry your burden yourself. Now don't ever contact me again, Luke Benson. Goodbye.